hello everyone very warm welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you a new text to video model called as pyramid flow this pyramid flow model is just a 2 billion parameter model which has already beaten lot of other very famous models by a huge margin we already have covered those famous names in text to video generation like cog video x clang open sora video crafter and heaps of others so in this video we are going to install this pyramid flow locally and then we will see how close it produces the videos from text as they have displayed in their project page because by now we have covered hundreds or maybe thousands of models and we see that whatever is shown in these sort of videos which you are watching on your screen is not always true so instead of believing on the project pages and the github repos let's go and check it out on our local system i will drop the link to their project page and hugging face model which you can check out which seems quite impressive there is no doubt about that so as you can see in this image this is quite tempting the vid the quality is really really good stuff and i might also be using the same text prompt such as this massive explosion on the surface of earth so let me close this this model is also present on hugging face which is quite good as you can see here so what is this model before i tell you more about this model and we get it installed locally let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus coming back to this model this model is quite a good open source text to video model with mit license it is a 2 billion diffusion transformer that can generate 10 second videos at 768 pixel with 24 frames per second which is quite good it can also generate 10 second videos 5 second videos and then it is an auto regressive model which means that it predicts the next values on the basis of the previous values and produces a coherent response it supports both text to video and image to video it also uses flow matching for efficient training and then there are a lot of examples which i already shown you on their uh, github github repo page plus it has only been trained on the open source data set they haven't shared any training code as of yet but as per their github repo it is coming soon okay so now we know enough about this model let's go and try to install it so i'm using this ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card of nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram minimum v requirement for this is 24 gb of vram but I would suggest you go at least with 48 GB of VRAM. Okay, so let me clear the screen. First up, let's create a virtual environment with Conda. I'm just calling it AI. So with Python 3.11, let's wait for it to get activated. Shouldn't take too long. And that is done. Let's git clone the repo of it. And let's cd into it. And that is also done. Let's clear the screen let's install all the requirements from the root of the repo let me run it and this is going to take three to four minutes so let's wait for it to get finished installing all the prerequisites eventually everything is installed took around five minutes or so let me clear the screen next up we need to log into hugging face and download this model for that you would need a read token from hugging face which is a free token for that you would need to log into hugging face go to your profile and settings and grab that token i already have it so i'm just pasting it here and then type capital y and you can see that our login is successful let me clear the screen let me launch my python interpreter where i'm going to download the model with the snapshot download with hugging face hub so just need to import this and then specify the model path on your local system where you want to save the model i'm just giving it in my home directory in the pyramid directory which is an empty directory and then in order to download the model all you need to do is to run this command which is snapshot download and the whole repo name from the hugging face let's run it it is going to download the model on your local system so 
so let's wait for it to finish there are a few tensors there are two of them and you can see that the speed speed looks good so it shouldn't take too long and by the way the repo name which i used if i just go up and show you this one if you go to hugging face and just grab this then you can just paste it there which i just showed you so model is being downloaded almost there so let's wait for it to finish downloading and the model is downloaded as you can see here i'm just going here and then just type exit and clear the screen okay so that is done let's now load our jupyter notebook and that is going to lo um, launch a browser-based notebook so that it will be easier to run and see how this model works so let's wait for it to get launched in the browser and the notebook is launched let me import the libraries which we have installed here and that is done next up let's specify our model where we have loaded so in this one i'm just specifying that i'm going to use this 768 um, uh, pixel model which is for high resolution you can go with even the lower one if you have just 24 gb of vram i'm using the 48 gb of vram so that is why i'm using this this is a path where i have saved the model and we are just loading it in half precision floating point 16 and then we are setting it to our first gpu because i only have one then we are loading the model we are setting this variational auto encoder to CUDA. so variation variational auto encoder is a model which primarily converts an image from latent space to pixel space and also from pixel space to latent space and this is our diffusion transformer uh, which is the actual model and then we are also putting them to CUDA and then this is a, just a small function which is showing the video if our Jupyter Notebook would support it so let me run it and the model is loaded then you can ignore these warnings next up let's generate the inference for that i am asking it a movie trailer featuring the adventures of the 30 year old spaceman wearing a red wool and all that stuff and then we are just giving it some dimensions we are enabling our uh, tiling of a visual auto encoder a variational auto encoder and then we are doing inference with these some of the parameters which are just specifying some height width and scaling and then we are exporting the video and then uh, also showing it off so let me run it and it is generating the video so let's wait for it and you can see that it is showing me four minutes for this so let's also quickly check how much vram we are using in a separate video so i'm just going to run this rough estimate so we are using around 19 gb of vram so make sure i think you should be good with 24 gb of vram okay so let's wait for it to finish or maybe while that happens let me also give a huge shout out to agent ql who are sponsoring the video agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page it is resilient it is reusable and it structures output according to the shape of your query it is quite a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for okay let's go back to our notebook it is still working so let's wait for it to finish generating the video so it has finished generating it took around seven minutes to create this video it already looks cool so let me play it oh goodness me five second video the face is bit demo or deformed but still pretty good i would say not bad at all it's a video remember that so hand and face are i think good prompt engineering should fix it and if you just go up and see my prompt again it's a movie trailer featuring the adventures of 30 year old spaceman wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet blue sky and all that stuff so pretty good and then if i just go here again you see it has followed the prompt it's a movie trailer not bad at all of course a lot of room for improvement but i think with good prompt engineering that should fix it 
So let's go to their project page and grab a prompt and try to generate just like that. So from their project page, I'm going to grab this uh, stunning site as a steam train leaves the bridge traveling over the arch covered by a deck. So let's run this. I'm just going to close it and then go up here and replace this prompt with the new one. So let me do that. Maybe I'll just make it multi-line and then also this multi-line so that we know what exactly is written here let me make it shorter okay that's much better also i'm just going to say it save memory false because i have 48 gb of memory so i'm just going to set it false rest is fine let me run it let's wait for it to finish so you see when I set the save memory to true, it was taking around seven minutes. Now with save memory false, it is showing me just close to four minutes. So let's see how long does this take and then we will see how the video comes out. By the way, it is also saving these videos to your local system in MP4 format. Interestingly enough, even with uh, turning the save memory to false, it is still taking the same amount of time anyway so let's wait for it to display the video it is almost there and the video is ready so let's scroll down hmm looks really good let's play it out let me make it a bit upwards yep let's see it it's not bad i mean to be honest yes there are room for improvement but not bad at all what was that it was a buzz I'm not sure but anyway but it has created the viaduct it has created a scenery and it has you see there is a lake and then very beautiful uh, you know turning stream or river in the middle of the mountains really cool and if i again play it out and there is a steam engine there is a steam there and you if you just look up there is a sky and then there is a uh, sun and then sunlight is quite good even the sunlight is reflecting on that steam and the clouds are rolling down pretty good not bad at all so yeah of course still a lot of you know improvement but close we are getting close you know text to uh, video uh, models are really getting close similarly you can just provide an image instead of that and generate a video out of it but hopefully you enjoyed it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network on social media as it helps a lot thank you for watching